it's not just the words that come out, it's how you say them in your body. Literally, our brain, if I say to you, I'll have a peanut butter and jelly on my socks, please, your brain does like a heart monitor. It says, what? I don't understand. Same thing when someone says, this is the American dream. That's not my American dream. So when you, your body language does not match your words, mm -hmm. our brain literally picks up on it, scientifically proven. Colgate University did a study. It says, wait a minute, I'm not buying what the candidate is saying or what they're objecting to. I feel like it's overly scripted or overly, you know, coached. Right. So let's say, okay, let's take a look at some video. We haven't seen Mitt Romney in a town hall style debate yet, but this is him on the campaign trail. He does a lot of pointing, uh, which I, I know from the, in past conversations with you, candidates usually try to stay away from. What do you make of his gesture? Much better on the second round here when he started gesturing with the palm of his hand like we see here. But pointing, how do you feel when someone points at you? It's almost like I'm pointing a gun at you. It can become across of as aggressive when you're pointing. That's why they do that, that thumb, that thumb on of the fist power. Thing. That's right. right. That's right. The thumb of power right here. It's a combination of pointing and chopping. <laughs> it's much better and softer or a palm up. Mitt Romney loves to point. I think it's going to hurt him in the debate tomorrow night. Let's take a look at President Obama in a town hall format. He's gotten mixed reviews. Um, in general, what do you make of him? I, I think Obama is a pro at this town hall format. Why? He's a master communicator. He'll look over here and connect with you, and then he'll look over here and connect with people. Mitt Romney, I think we're going to see tomorrow night, he gets a little like a, like a bird or a chipmunk. He's all over the place with his eye contact. He did really well in the last debate. Why? There's two places he had to look. At the president, and he had to look at the moderator. So Obama, he's doing the thumb of power that you see right here. Right, he's not pointing. He's doing the thumb on the And foot. he has both feet directly next to each other, Anderson. We see this when we, got, we have both feet in the game. Mm -hmm. His feet are, will be in the game tomorrow. In the last debate, Obama had his left foot pushed back behind, right. His right book, uh, behind his right foot. This says, I don't have both feet in the game. Um, what should the other candidate do when the, the other candidate is talking? Well, look right here. Do you see right there? We, we have McCain mm -hmm. holding his wrist. Mm -hmm. The rule of thumb is the higher the hold, the more anxiety is told. You should think about what they're saying. You know, Mitt Romney had the perma smile on the last debate. When the president is saying, listen, if you're 55 and 56 years old, listen up. This matters on your health care system. And, and Mitt Romney had a permanent smile. There was a town hall exchange in 2004 between Senator Kerry and, uh, and, and President Bush. Let, let's watch that because President Bush uh, got, got very uh, vocal. Mr. President, let's extend for a minute. Let let's me just want to watch. I've got to answer this. Well, I mean, I, exactly. And with reservists being held on duty. No, let me answer soldiers, this, what he just said about Well, I wanted to get alone. into the issue. You of the tell Tony draft. Blair we're going alone. Tell Tony Blair we're going alone. Tell Servio Berlusconi we're going alone. Was that I love this clip, and I'm going to tell you what I like about it. The rule of thumb with our gestures is our gesture should, be, sh gesture should be within the frame of our body. When we get bigger, we can do that when we're talking to a bigger audience. When we see George Bush, he takes his hand out. He's saying, this is a big issue right here. I need to address what just happened. He puts that hand out, and then he continues to walk as if he's pulling us along with him. Now, body language, a lot of it, Anderson, has to do with your perception. There's not scientific. Every time mm -hmm. you do this doesn't mean you're powerful, but it can be perceived as powerful. It can be perceived as also arrogant. The other thing about a town hall that's difficult is you have to relate to the person who's asking the question, but at the same time you need to pivot and attack the other candidate. All right. Now, this is a big problem I've seen with past debates, Anderson. As soon as you ask me the question, people will turn and they start talking to the audience over here. This is what I call a transference of power. If I treat you and answer your question with respect, with an open palm gesture, I look you in the eyes, I lean forward as I'm talking and engaging you. If I treat you with respect, everyone at home who's watching is going to feel that if the president or if, if, if Mitt Romney was in front of them, that they would treat that person at home with that same level so of respect. So that's particularly important in a town hall debate, where it's it an individual, where it's citizens asking the question. And questions. not everyone's been great at it. I have to say, a lot of people immediately listen to your question, and then they turn and try to work the crowd. I think that's a big mistake. It's like a politician who shakes 50 hands instead of the politician that takes time to mm -hmm. say, nice to meet you, sir. Right.